All right, you found yourself here again. Today we're gonna to make something a little bit quicker and a little bit more simple. The Cory D. That's short for coriander daiquiri. Daiquiris are good drinks. They're 90, most of them are booze. Actually, all of them are booze. Shit. Shit. <sighs> all right. Hello. Oh my God. <laughs> Once again, you found yourself. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <clears throat> I feel like I've worn out. Do you or a loved one struggle for mesothelioma? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Charles. I am Charles. That's what my name is. <laughs> and we're going to do another round, uh, one of many, of drinking with me, where I drink things and I make things, and then I make those things and I drink them, and then we talk about them, and uh, sometimes I pepper a little history lesson in there, and hopefully it's informative, and you go home and drink these things, and you talk about me at your dinner table with your family. Today, we're going to do a simple riff on a classic. We're making the Cory D. Cory D? That stands for coriander daiquiri. Now, if you don't know what coriander is, it's the seed that comes from cilantro. The traditional daiquiri is served up, so we're going to serve it up. We're gonna start by filling our shakers with ice. Traditionally, a daiquiri is made with white rum. Uh, I don't necessarily like white rum. Uh, since I was introduced to uh, my buddy Pusser, uh, I'm, I'm a big Navy strength rum guy because I'm just that kind of cat and I like having a good time. We're going to do two ounces of that. Woo woo. There we go. Every time I spill it on the counter, every time. I don't, I could never be a bartender. I waste so much alcohol, they'd fire me. All right. <laughs> Well, counters are just floors for glasses. All right, then we're gonna do an ounce of lime juice. We're gonna do three fourths an ounce of coriander simple syrup. Now my cilantro friends will know coriander is the seed version of that. So it might taste like soap to you. I still don't give a shit. All right, we're gonna shake this. Once again, it's a really simple drink. As always, we shake it until your hands get cold. Springy. Where is my goddamn springy thingy? I got it, I got it, I found it, I found it. It's called a Hawthorne strainer. I looked it up. I'm still not gonna call it that because that sounds super fucking dumb. Sorry, Mr. Hawthorne. You're gonna get the most delicate glass you can find. Whoa! I fucked up. That's what you shouldn't do. This cocktail is meant to be double strained. So you're gonna get your springy thingy and your mesh boy. It's got a nice kind of golden color, both from the coriander syrup and the, the Navy strength rum. Grandpa Puss coming in strong. Simple drink, simple garnish. Gonna finish this off with the lime wheel. And that's the Cory D. The coriander's gonna add a nice little toasty, maybe soapy note to it, which really helps bring out some of those uh, unique, strong flavors in both the rum as well as the, the lime, you know, coriander, lime, cilantro, lime, that goes really well together. If you're looking to make this at home, the recipe's down below, it's super easy, and you can find all the weirdos in your family that don't like cilantro. What occasion would you make this? I would make this for breakfast, right before a court appointment. If you're going to the doctor for a physical, it's always great to have a couple daiquiris before, before church, during church. 
After church, food pairings. You're having taco night with your family. You break out the old El Paso, fire up a couple of coriander daiquiris, read Fifty Shades of Grey to your kids. <laughs> or if you're looking for a little bit, something a little bit more classy, I would maybe do like a fried fish or a lettuce wrap with the fried fish in it. Any sort of Dominican, Puerto Rican, Haitian, Jamaican food, this would go wonderful with. They use a lot of complex spices with cinnamon and allspice and clove. Uh, that would pair very well with this. A little CBD oil, maybe a little bit of melted butter, throw it in your coffee. It's called microdosing. So go out there, make a couple daiquiris, kiss your mom or someone's mom, have a good time, enjoy your life with the Corey D. I'll see you next time. <laughs> Not much. <laughs> My mind, nothing lives in here rent-free. It's like a squatter's palace. There are things come and go <laughs> as they please. They come back, and then I remember them, but then they leave again. Hi!